I've gotten a lot of questions about the magnetic base drills that are on the marketplace. And Bobby Huffman, again from Medina, Missouri, was a, uh, also evaluated this tool as part of the product test team effort. This is the Evolution Evo Mag. This comes in a series of different models depending on the arbor uh, size that you get. And Bobby, you found that this is one of those tools that it was a kind of a tough buy to make for the cost, but once you got it, you didn't know how you got along without it before? That's right. Yep. I, I'm glad I purchased it. Bobby, what kind of jobs did you use the Evo Mag on? Well, drilling anything, especially larger holes, you know, anything over you know, a half inch hole, it's faster to use this than it is a, a standard drill bit. Yeah, the slugger bits, they're unlike regular drill bits. They, they make bigger filings, right? It makes a bigger mess in a, in a way, but uh, it drills a lot faster. It's worth, right. it's worth having the mess. So the nice thing about the holes this drills, they're pretty burr-free and they're very accurate. Yep, very accurate, burr-free. Um, you take a center punch and, and mark your hole, and then the center pin of the bit goes in that punch hole and, and stays there and drills straight down. Yeah, Bobby, you're, you're building your own hydraulic press with upright beams, and you use this to drill those holes, right? I drilled inch and 3 16 holes in, in there, and, and it blew right through them. Really? The magnet held the, the, the drill in place, and we drilled them out, no problem. So this would be one of the things that if you had a toolbar outside and you had power to it, you could be able to clamp this on a toolbar and just drill any hole that you wanted to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and take it anywhere. And the thickness of metal? Oh, probably half or three quarter inch thick. Oh, and didn't take too long then? No, no, pretty fast. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I've, matter of fact, I just bought some bigger bits um, here oh, a few my. weeks ago, so uh, that, that came with those and that, that did everything I wanted to do to that point, but I needed right. some bigger ones. So. so this tool, the Evolution Tool Company, is based out of the Midwest in Davenport, Iowa. You've been happy with the quality of this tool? So far, I, I have a couple of their tools and, and both of them seem to be holding up really well for me. Sure. So Bobby, these are not a cheap tool to buy, electromagnetic base drills like this. They can run 700, 800, up to 1,000 plus. Is that an investment that would be justified in the farm shop? Oh yeah, I'd, I wouldn't want to give it up now after having it. <laughs> <laughs> It, it was a big investment at the time. I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend that. You but, had to swallow hard, in other words. But I had a project I wanted to do and, and didn't want to borrow one, so I, I went ahead and bought, bought it, and it's, yeah. I'm glad I have it. Well, thanks for evaluating this tool, Bobby. For more information about the Evo Mag drills, you can go to evolutionsteel.com. Another one of our product test team products that we evaluated were the heated garments. These are from Milwaukee. These are M12, based on the M12 or 12 volt system that they have from Milwaukee. Uh, Gerald Joseph Hampton, Nebraska, tested both a hoodie and a jacket. This was the liner for the jacket, and then there's, no, this was the, in, yeah, the liner. That's the, the liner jacket. for the jacket. And then there was a shell that went with it too. Mm -hmm. And they have like a whole line of heated garments. You received this last winter and gave it an evaluation. Uh, where did you wear them? Well, that particular one I took to Oklahoma hog hunting with me. <laughs> <laughs> Typical and, farm duty, yeah, right? Yeah, well, it had to be done. And so <laughs> I took that along and, and wore it in the mornings when it was cold. And you, you could just turn the, the heat up or down. <clears throat> and it stayed real comfortable. I mean, and, and it, you had freedom of movement. and extremely warm it was it was it worked really good so it runs off a small little battery and this is the uh, 12 volt battery right and then it plugs in with that little cord then on it right, right? that's what powers it and once plugged in then you control it off the control buttons right up in this that's area right. right yes and you hold that to activate it and to you turn have it on and three ranges of what you mm -hmm. want now on this one the other extra thing they had was you also can plug it into a USB port that comes off the side, and yeah. that you'd use for? We can charge your cell phone or use your uh, iPad or, mm. or whatever. And so when you were running these before, you said the battery lasted for, what, not two days, but certainly a day's worth. Yeah, of I didn't charge it at all while I was 
uh -huh. hunting that weekend. So and you were warm enough. Oh yes. <clears throat> um, and everybody at the camp wanted my coat, but I wouldn't <laughs> let them have it. <laughs> so would it be worth investing in because they do cost a little bit more money than say a typical jacket, probably twice or three not a times the amount. Well, definitely. If you're at, you know in the extreme cold, you can adjust your temperatures and and you can stay comfortable. You don't have to shed clothes or add clothes. You can just adjust adjust your temperature right in the garment you're wearing and and it saves packing a lot of extra clothes you know because this does it pretty much does it all well milwaukee has greatly expanded its line of heated jackets now for example the hoodie that gerald was wearing ranges from ninety dollars up to 110 to 120 dollars depending on where you're buying it online now the shell with the uh, the liner with the shell that i'm wearing will range from about 280 up to 310 320 dollars However, that includes the charger and the 12 volt battery. If you already have the charger and the battery, you don't have to buy those when you get the garments and that would save you some money. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.